Shalom, brothers and sisters. So let's uh, let's chat about where we're at at the moment. There's there's so much going on. It's uh, it's absolutely crazy, and there's a lot to touch on and a lot to wrap our heads around. So let me start with the latest thing I saw yesterday: the Denver bug out bags. If you guys are in that area, feel free to drop comments here. I mean, why Denver bug out bags for everyone now? Why are they seemingly prepping for an attack or a disaster or something to take place? So much so that they're providing bug out bags to their people to prepare. And they're educating them on what to do. So it's not like it's a maybe thing. It's like a definite thing that's coming. So that's, that's a flag. Biden <clears throat> with these divisive hate speeches. The whole Mar-a-Lago situation where they're trying to get the Republicans riled up. Are they getting them riled up so that they can send their people in dressed as Republicans with MAGA hats to cause more issues, to try and cause chaos, maybe a whole civil war to get going in America so you can get UN boots on the ground? These are thoughts that people are floating that sound really plausible, and it would make a lot of sense to further sow chaos into the situation because Biden is really a massive author of chaos. I mean, even his brain is chaotic but his handlers are using him for a reason and very very neatly to further their plan and their strategy to weaken and bring the US down so they're working on a clock too um, clashes breaking out on the Azerbaijani Armenian border and the US is calling for a ceasefire that's been brewing for a while and it's flaring up again uh, Iran is <laughs> saying America are the terrorists and they want to dismantle America and the US. And while they say things like this, America is quite happy to talk to them about an Iran deal and go sit at the table. It, it's not the same leadership America's had in the past. I mean, that's just, it's crazy. You, you can't make this up. Um, then we look at the German Chancellor talking about September the 24th and saying, where will you be? You'll remember where you were on this day because it's going to be so epic. It's going to be such a big thing that people will remember it. Now, the interesting thing with this is it, if you watch the clip, it's in German, but you almost hear when he mentions the date that some of the leadership in there are upset that he mentioned the date. Like maybe he slipped, like Prince Charles slipped when he referred to the Antichrist at COP26. I think maybe it's something like that. Do they have something planned for the money system, a complete shutdown across the world to roll over into their new beast system? Uh, all of these are possible because all these things are in place. All these things are ready. Now, the interesting thing was September 24, and you ask yourself now, what, what's up with that? Elul 29 begins on September the 24th. It runs until sundown September 25th. Now, we witnessed the worst stock market crash in U.S. history on Elul 29 in 2001. The record stood for exactly seven years, and seven years later, on Elul 29 in 2008, they had another crash. Now, Elul 29 fell on a Sunday in 2015, and the stock market closed on Sunday, so no record was there. However... A tremendous financial shaking took place in August and September that year. Now, 2022, Elul 29, again falls on a Sunday. So, no market crash on the Sunday. But I think we should be watching closely because Rosh Hashanah begins at Sunday, sundown, into September 25th. So, again, something big could be happening. The church could be leaving the market could be crashing, a war could break out all over and be dealt with, nuclear bombs, we don't know. There's so many things, so many irons in the fire at the moment that it's hard to just differentiate one way or the next what it could be. But for them to openly and maybe even by mistake be referencing September the 24th and it happens to be so close to Rosh Hashanah and it happens to be Lul 29, all these things start adding up. And slotting into position that you need your safety belt on. I need to be making sure my cats are in grabbing distance. You need to be ready. Is your rapture letters done? Have you left things behind? Is everything ready? Are you doing all you can? Something big is coming. They didn't do that by chance. And in a world as chaotic and crazy as it is at the moment with 
Taiwan and China, the French sending ships that way now, Japan feeling stressed, Australia complaining about Chinese shadowing their naval groups, America all over the place, Iran, uh, Israel, the oil rig and the Karshish oil rigs, the Armenian and Azerbaijanis, all these things, everything just boiling and boiling, Russia, Ukraine. Why is Russia pulling out of Ukraine so fast that they're leaving equipment behind? And they're pulling to a safer point on their own territories. Now, yes, it looks like shame. These folks are really messing up and they're not doing too well. But it also is a pattern that you would follow if you were planning to use tactical nukes. You'd get out. You'd leave your equipment behind. You'd get out fast so that you can clear the area and make sure your people aren't in the firing ground. Is that a possibility or are they just really struggling at the moment? So these are the questions you need to think of. And you need to think, you know, taking mass media into account and what they're trying to tell you and teach you and then balance that with how much they lie. Why is he pulling back? What is he planning? So keep that in your mind and think about that strategically as a chess player. Why would you pull back? What's your next move going to be? Or have you received orders to pull back because we're running into an important time now? Prince Charles, that's going to have his official crowning and everything coming up in the days ahead. And all these things that happen. Well, King Charlie Boy now. So the Pope demanding that all money be transferred into the Vatican Bank before the end of September. He knows something too, because he holds a very important position of power, believe it or not. Then you've got to, in the back of your mind, be thinking of the House of Faith in Dubai that no one's talking about. What's up with that and what's happening and how ready is that for implementation for a one world religion? Um, Disney having their employees arrested again and Disney still functioning. This alone, the Disney situation, they're constantly finding people and arresting them for human trafficking, child molestation. And you look at the whole Epstein Maxwell saga and the names that came out there, uh, Prince Andrew. All those kind of things. These things were there. These were facts. And have all these people been locked up? Have these places been shut down? No. Because the world is evil. Good is bad. And bad is good. Things have flipped the wrong way around. The same way the world's eventually going to flip. And the way that the planet groans and moves. All these things. Darkness is taking its time now to be in control. So that's why these people are fine. That's why nothing's happening and that's why distractions get caused and chased from one side to the next all the time. I mean, a stupid example as well, Peppa Pig. My daughter loves Peppa Pig, but Peppa Pig has just introduced their first same-sex couple. A little polar bear with two mommy polar bears. And they've now gone that way as well. It is insane. That I can't even find a cartoon for my daughter to watch where they're not trying to indoctrinate her. And if you're not watching the cartoons yourself before you let your kids watch them, I got to tell you, you're allowing a lot of evil and mind washing and things coming through to your kids. You are that barrier and that wall between them and the evil tide that wishes to drown your children as quickly as possible and indoctrinate them. You are the last wall. You are that hill to die on to protect our children. Make sure that you do. And they, they even have cartoons like Little Demon, which has been referenced widely, that presents you with an antichrist female child that is presented in such a way of, oh, shame, this poor kid. She just needs friends. You know, it doesn't matter that her father's the devil and her mother's a psychotic, evil, witch-like woman and all this evil going on. It's all good. Because they're preparing the world for an antichrist. And they're preparing a world where you go, oh, shame, poor antichrist. Oh, poor Lucifer. That's the way the world is positioning this. And you need to see it. And that is how soon and how quick we are to exiting and God's judgment falling full tilt on this planet and cleansing it over the next seven years. Things are out of control and crazy. Watch, pray. Spend time in the word. Cover each other with prayer and support. Pray, pray, pray. What an amazing thing if you're praying when the trumpet sounds. 
What an amazing thing if you're busy with God's things and in the word when the trumpet sounds. And there are a lot of you with trumpets that are blowing them right now. Thank you. You guys that are blowing the trumpets in the woods and the resounding sounds, blow those trumpets. I blew my trumpet this morning. Why? Because I could. And the world needs to hear the trumpet because there's going to be a loud trumpet call soon. And I am RSVPing for that trumpet. Stay strong. Keep watching. We're commanded to watch in a world fallen asleep. When it comes to believers in the church, in the world where we have fallen asleep, stay awake and be vigilant and watch. It is a command. There is a reward for watching. I will be praying for all of you as I always do and I will keep you in my war room, in my prayer room. And we will make this race run and we will get there successfully. And until then, we will keep watching and we will keep sounding the alarm and we will keep speaking about evil where we see it and bringing it into the light. And we will not be ashamed because we do not want him to be ashamed of us before his father. So in Yeshua's name and in Yahweh's name and in the power of Ruach, I bless you all and I pray for you all. May you have a fantastic day. God bless and Shalom.